Contextualization at first so sounds to people like, oh, you're just, you're just giving people what they want to hear. No, no, no. Contextualization actually does not mean giving people what they want to hear. It means giving them the Bible's answers, which they may not want to hear at all, to the questions that people at their place and time are asking in language and forms that are comprehensible and by giving people the gospel with arguments and uh, appeals that have a force that they feel. Whether or not they agree with them, they still see it as compelling. You know you've contextualized when there's three kinds of people out there when you're done. You got some people who agree, they're persuaded. You got some people who disagree, but they say, man, no, that was a, I really respect the way in which you did that. Very compelling, very persuasive, you know, very smart, really good. I still don't agree. You have people who are persuaded. Secondly, people who respect you, though they're not persuaded. And then the people who don't respect you and aren't persuaded. And you see, if you're, the better the contextualizer you are, the smaller that group is. See? And the worse you are at it, the bigger that group is.